Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Not So Weekly episode of Angel and the Advocate podcast. I am still the advocate, and sitting across from me is the beautiful Angel. Angel, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing good. Yeah. What is, I mean, where, I don't know, it's been like, a, I don't even know, two months, eight weeks, six weeks? I don't know, it doesn't matter. But where have you been? What's been going on? Give us a very brief update of what's happening in Angel's world. We continue doing more desert underground shows we just had a show a couple of weeks ago have another show coming up at the end of the month for those who are new maybe or haven't oh, yeah. been uh in the podcast for a while uh the shows are so the shows are like high desert underground desert Go underground on. high production <laughs> concerts featuring local artists um all genres entertainment for the community on the east side of the town you know okay okay yeah. and mills the god i think he's performed a couple times <laughs> yeah mills the god's performed a couple times he's a friend of yours right yeah I think I could help him write better rhymes. And I'm a lawyer. <laughs> and I'm a lawyer. And I said, not that's no disrespect. That's no disrespect. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I think that the truth of it is that attorneys and, uh, you know, poets, things like that are wordsmiths, just like uh, potentially rappers are as well. It's no disrespect at all. I like the guy's stuff. That's why I say it like that. We can improve it, make it better. Yeah. You know, actually, that's something I want to talk to you about. It seems like Desert Underground is getting a little bit busier, getting bigger. Is that part of where you've been the last six to eight weeks is busy with that? Yeah, well, I've been busy with the tile business and also because um, the end of the year with the tile business, you know how you, you deal with businesses all oh, day yeah. and night. So what happened end of the year? Let's talk about it. End of the year, what happened with the tile business? So we always have a lot of deadlines. Things got to get done before Thanksgiving, for example. That's yep. always big. Uh, people want to open or finish their projects. And then people want to have their family come to town for Thanksgiving. Yeah, they need so that fresh new floor to be finished so their family can come over and they can flex and be like, check out my <laughs> big new tiles. I used to have 12 by 12. Now look at these 18 by 18, stuff like that. No. <laughs> yeah, 24 by 48 getting a little bigger. Oh, boy, never mind me. Those are, those See, I'm, are still in the, I'm still in the you, low rent you, district. You got 24 by 40. Oh, no. no. I don't know what these are. These are rectangles, though. They're not squares. They're not. No. And this is the landlord pay for these, so I don't get the flex. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that's what it is, right? It's Thanksgiving, and then there's probably another one at Christmas time. Yeah, the Christmas one, and then um, and then there's like a magical year end, right? Then the year end is like it slows down, but it's also it's like doesn't slow down. Year yeah. end is silly, isn't it? Yeah, like we just decided that December, January, that's the end of the year, and so now all of a sudden. People like need things done. Like if you're in my world as an attorney, people are like, I need to get this done in 2022. I don't want to be dealing with this in 23. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> like that, yeah. you know, or like, like does it make your case go away just because the it, calendar changes, right? Yeah, exactly. It's the same stuff. Or like, well, I understand for like some projects that we were going to start in December. Like, you know what? We'll start again. We'll start in January. Like we don't want to yeah. be in the middle of construction during holidays. But that's different. That's because you don't want to take days off in the middle. And I can totally understand and respect that. I do that as well. I tell clients, like if they're coming in right when the holidays are coming on or whatever, I tell them, hey, wait, the holidays are here. But this is, look, this is the holidays are behind us. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about like the desert underground. How is it going? I've been seeing you on other people's podcasts. I've been seeing some hype with a, what was it, Coachella Valley Magazine or newspaper? Uh, CV, CV Independent. CV Independent. And, and okay, we I had, don't want to get that wrong. At the last, uh, th we have the Desert Sun. They, they were there for twelve hours following me. They even okay watched me shave and all kinds of stuff. They they wanted to do like a the, day in the life. They're vlogging. They're vlogging. <laughs> they're desert vlogging sun. the vlogger. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, we had a reporter and a photographer from the Desert Sun. So an article's coming out. Um, and so did you tell them that you're a nobody? that you're not even doing anything yet that you're this is a nothing they reached out so the report no 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 answer that question yeah. or did you feel like you're something do you feel like you're something or do you know it's nothing how do you feel about desert underground tell me where it is in the process is it a seed in the dirt is it a beautiful rose i think it's still a seed in the dirt it's still a seed in the dirt yeah. and do you tell them that i tell them that we it's been six months and we're literally just breaking ground we're we were constructing a house, you know, doing the foundation barely. We're sure. barely getting started. So I know um, some people, they're like, oh, that's cool. But I still see that where I want to take this is like nowhere. Near. Yeah, I think some people talk about it like this is what it is. Yeah. Like this is the established desert underground. Because you've had a couple of events now and they've yeah. been similar, like as far as level or size or what have you, right? Yeah. So like I think people are starting to think that's it. That's why I said it like that to you, right? That's why I gave you a little challenge there, right? <laughs> well, hey, look, my number one thing is I think there's people, I'll, I will leave no names, no names, protect the innocent, right? Um, but there are people in the valley that think like they have arrived or think that they're established. And then half the valley, maybe three quarters of the valley have no idea who the heck you are. 
right? So like, I think that way about myself, right? I never let, for me, it's like the Google reviews. I never let the Google Google reviews go to my head, right? Very fun, what was the review you posted? Yeah. <laughs> that was so but, I mean, I never, let, I never let those things go to my head. I try my hardest to remember that. These are just a small handful of people who know me. There's a huge valley of people who still don't know me. And so I highly recommend that you remember that when it comes to Desert Underground, right? It'll keep pushing you to make it that bigger and better thing. So I'm glad to hear you think of it as like a seed. Plus, I mean, you've been busy watering that seed. I haven't seen you here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know we had to take a break here as well, you know, and recharge that. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And so what else? Let's talk about where we lost our trusty sidekick, Brian, and now we have a new fantastic sidekick instead. <laughs> I don't think she likes to be anywhere near on the spot. So that's <laughs> all the introduction you'll receive from our new person. But Brian's gone. We wish, we wish Brian well, I guess, I mean, sort of wish him well in case he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he'll come back do a cameo. You never know. Yeah. I don't know. You think I beat him up too much? Maybe it was my beatings that I gave him every once in a while. And he enjoys it. He, he always, he, we always talk about you. Like, oh, really? Time. Yeah. We call you uh, Theo, Theo Amir. <laughs> <laughs> you don't call me HBK? HBK. <laughs> a little bit of sweet shin music for Brian, you know, every yeah. once in a while he needs a little reminder, a little, you know. Yeah, I get him. The WrestleMania is coming. Are you going to go to SoFi Stadium? Or? Uh, no, I'm not going to SoFi. I mean, I probably should. I mean, if it was, you know what's amazing? If I could, um, if I could kind of take the DeLorean back in time and go when it was The Rock, Stone Cold, Kurt Angle, Undertaker at their prime, then yeah, I would probably go. But I never went back then. Mm. I didn't realize that that wouldn't like last forever, right? I mean, that's yeah. kind of the same thing. I mean, the same could probably be said for the even older days with like Macho Man and Hulk Hogan. Um, I don't know. Most of my friends don't listen to the podcast. I'm not going to lie. But um, lately, my TikTok has been feeding me these random clips of like Royal Rumble because I love yeah. that trash, right? And then I screen record it and send it to my friends. I'm like, oh my God. You know, there's <laughs> all the, you know, especially when uh, Kane comes out. I especially have love for uh, Paul Bearer. And anyways, you get me talking about wrestling every time. Every time. I don't know. I can't why. control myself. <laughs> I don't watch that much. Well, that's why I asked you if you're going to sell fight because I'm, it's, one, it's in LA. It's, I will yeah. say, if it comes to Accrisher, I'll be there. If oh, it, if I feel it comes like it's going to happen, right? It's got, that's what I'm saying. It's got uh, Like happen. a Monday Night Raw or something. Have you been to uh, the Coachella Valley Firebirds, speaking of Acrisure Arena? Yeah, I've been there. Have you been to the game? Yeah. All right. See, I'm a big fan. I think it's a great thing. What do you think? Um, I love it. I love that we have uh, something that everybody could like root for, you know, a that's sports a, team. That's exactly what I'm talking about. locally. I couldn't agree with you more. You get a melting pot of people here in the Valley, you know, coming from different states, different places whatever but then we all follow different sports teams so there'll be random packer fans or college fans or this but now we have a mutual see i used to th i used to i describe it like this i used to say people that people used to be defensive or protective of the event they went to so if you're a person that went to the tennis gardens for the uh, indian wells bnp paribas open or whatever you're like that's the best event i love the tennis event or maybe you go to coachella you're like i love coachella coachella is the reason the whole valley's on the map or you go to stagecoach and you're like the best party in town all year is stagecoach and then you're like no no the best thing is the palm springs film festival it's like all the events people become like protective of their event in the valley right and then all of a sudden now we have like the Coachella Valley Firebirds we have like a team that we can all like coalesce around I mean I just it's so much fun to go there and see people you know um, you know people rocking the jerseys and stuff like that it's been a lot of fun I'm a big fan already you bought a jersey already? Uh, I don't have a jersey I wear my own special attire though I do have uh, I went out on a limb and bought some season tickets so you can catch me down there by the penalty box uh, my seats are you pretty close smack to the, to the other team when if, the penalty absolutely box. if they if I talk to smack to anybody that listened to me I talk smack to you right now no I mean yeah for sure uh, I might have been caught uh, you know banging on the glass and you know <laughs> encouraging some members of the opposing team to find a comfortable seat in the penalty box where they belong you know that kind of thing but no i think it's a great thing for the valley in particular um i'm amazed at the arena i think the arena is a phenomenal 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 a, little, uh, a phenomenal thing that we have here in the valley and um it's been amazing to watch everything from concerts comedy You've those kinds of concerts? things I have not. I've only been to the birds games there, and I love the birds games. I, yeah. I mean, it's kind of funny. I already call them the birds. The birds. Like, oh, <laughs> look at you. You got like slang for it, like bird gang and stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, I think it's all about it. I, I definitely uh, am. I haven't been to a concert. Uh, the, the kiddo went to uh, Harry Styles or whatever, but I didn't make the cut for that trip. <laughs> <laughs> Now that one looked fun. I didn't go to Harry And they have either. a lot of like Spanish music, right? I mean, yeah. you're my guy on that tip. So uh, yeah, so they opened up with Grupo Firme. I actually contacted, I know two people that work. Uh, I'm not going to say 
the at names. the arena or yeah. at the okay yeah don't have to don't no, no name names, drop no okay names. no name but then um, i was uh, i'm trying to get in there to get a media pass to take pictures for like some of the concerts okay um and i was trying to get it for grupo firme which is one the second the first concert they had actually right after the dave Chappelle event or maybe the second and so concert. did you get a media no, pass I didn't get a media okay pass. so what but just talk hold on, hold on talk to me about it like what do you what how do you try to get a media pass i don't know anything about so this. You could actually submit a media pass at any festival, any Staples Center, Coachella. It's like an application? Even Coachella, like you just, I think the deadline for Coachella is this month. No, no. That no, doesn't matter. I'm just yeah. I'm explaining how it works. But what is it? It's a piece of paper. Um, All they do is give you like, oh, yeah, just send us your your best highlights or pictures. Okay. And then, so like a sizzle reel. Yeah, your best stuff. And then all they right. pick you. They're like, oh, yeah, you're good or whatever. And then um, they just get your name at the gate and then okay you and so did you submit like a package of photos of uh, vid videos and concerts of concerts yeah. and they just you didn't hear back or they, no, they no? loved it like i loved it but because it's such a high-end arena i think they already have their media team okay but they they kept the door open they're like oh you're already in the system so whenever they let me know i mean why don't you okay. start with something that's not as popular or sought after than like the concerts like don't you think the concerts are the most sought after thing like yeah. group of firme is like a i mean yeah. i i don't know who they are it's one of those things right like i don't Gotta know who they you. are but i know that they're big yeah um but i mean why wouldn't you, why don't you start like down a notch why don't you try to do it for like the globe trotters why don't you try to do it for i mean i i i'm just saying that i think maybe is a potential way to kind of push your way in a little bit more too right yeah like no well, everybody wants to go to the best acts like try to go to yeah. the less you know and then, and then get to both right that's true no i didn't think about that but i was just thinking for the music because i i'm already doing media for my own i get it concert, i know so. you are i mean i know yeah. music is the tie-in desert underground i get yeah. it but i'm just saying as far as no it makes sense to get in the door get to know the people that work yeah there, when you're trying to build a relationship with them it's got to be more about what you can do for them and less about what they could do for you especially in the very beginning you know, because you, you are continuing to build like a very big and growing following when it comes to like this music, right? I mean, I I have seen it firsthand from your like, I got this idea. I know it sounds crazy. All the way to, I think, how many now have you done? How many is it underground? Six. Yeah, six. So, I mean, you've got to have had a learning curve in that right so the same way i mean the same way you started with like kind of um i would just say content and music related content and then you had someone on your podcast it kind of like slowly built up i think you gotta do the same kind of thing you gotta kind of slowly build up so start with hey i'd love to take pictures of something that's maybe less popular show what you can do do an excellent job on it and they'll you know they'll find space for you for the, the bigger events okay yeah you know? i'll reach out again like sometimes the best thing you can do to meet the business owner is buy their product, right? I mean, yeah. sometimes that's just the, the bottom <laughs> yeah, so line. Yeah, so when I went to Grupo Firme, I was, I was scouting the place, you know. I actually went to the concert, so I bought tickets. Okay, yeah. Um, and then... Uh, but I mean, you would have bought them anyways, right? Yeah. Like, it's not like it's a... No, I mean, I had so much fun. I love that the arena is so... It, look, it feels like you're in a... Like a Staples Center or something, like super high end. But then also feels kind of small. Yeah. And then, like you were saying, you're, you're in the hallway and you run into like 20 people. <laughs> That's the craziest part when yeah. you're in the hallway, you run into everybody you know. You're it's like, crazy. is everybody I know here? Which or anytime they show like, you know, at least like, the like I said, Trump. yeah, I go to the hockey game. So the things they show as far as like, you know, let's see the dads dancing or whatever. Like I usually know at least one of the dads. You're, dancing, the, you're the guy with the, with no, the no, shirt. no, 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 no. I keep my shirt <laughs> on at all times. <laughs> it's all the, the, the one that paint their face half and half. Yeah. Yeah. With the big, with the big <laughs> wig. That's all crazy. You might catch me in a big bird costume. Actually, you know, it's kind of one of the you, things you that should apply for the fu fuego. Uh, you know, I do push a little bit for the MC. Uh, I don't know about saying the MC job, but I definitely angle and push for the MC to have a larger and better role. I feel like the guy can kind of go off a little bit harder. You know what I mean? He's got this guy in a bird suit next to him. I want him to like be the voice a little bit more, be like a little bit more get animated, get going, more, yeah. yeah, get get more into it. Um, you know, and I've, you know, I've voiced what I kind of know. I've actually heard an interesting thing more recently is that they need to steam the American flag. I haven't figured out exactly how to get that across, but I'm finding a way. I heard a couple people have now told me, uh, veterans, quite frankly, um, respectfully, that the American flag that hangs in the arena like it's is wrinkling? wrinkled. It oh, needs wow. to be like pressed or steamed. So we'll figure out a way to get that to them. I'm sure they mean no disrespect. In fact, at all the Firebirds game, they do like a moment where they recognize any veterans, any right? veterans, yeah, which I, I think I, is, I, like that, I yeah. think that's pretty awesome. What I don't like is they play Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash, <laughs> and I think that song's just a little bit too slow to be. <laughs> like the sing-along at the arena i mean i get where they're going i got respect and love for johnny cash too I, i'm not against the guy right <laughs> um classic music for sure but i mean pitbull fireball like let's get some hype like let's go let's go a little bit you know let's get the people excited it's a hockey game you know what i mean yeah anyways but, that's my two cents nobody asked me but there it is in case anyone's listening no nah, i, I could sure arena's gonna be nice for just everything just bringing 
high quality entertainment and they're literally booking like high-end artists too which is cool like harry styles ending his tour here that for his birthday too or whatever i wonder why i wonder how they got him to come there you ever thought about that i wonder how did they get harry styles to add those two dates at the end of his already established it was already over or something like it, that yeah so that he had to perform on his birthday instead of being well, off the on same, his birthday the like same he had thing with group of firme they were done with their how time. did they do that how do they do that? Yeah, I wonder how they do that. <laughs> I've heard rumors that the people behind the arena are well connected, you know, the into the business. Industry. So yeah. Well, isn't one of the guys from the Eagles like an owner or something? Invested? I'm not. I don't really know. I think uh, it's like management like or something, but yeah. I don't really know the details. I don't know the. De- I don't want to stay on the yeah. podcast <laughs> much if I don't know about. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's in, it's in, it's definitely yeah, an interesting thing, and it's doing. I mean, I think it's a fantastic, incredible addition. The best part to me is you could ask other people, other established, you know, major members of the community, like. Like if five years ago I said to you, hey, you and me, let's build an arena. We'll put a hockey team in it or something. We'll get concerts going. You know, seat 10,000 people. You would have told me like here in the Valley, like you yeah. would have laughed me out of here. These people, they believed. Like they totally believed in it. They built the arena and now it's pumping. It's awesome. I'm a, like, I'm a big supporter of something that I probably would have five years ago poo-pooed and say, yeah, right. Why would they Especially ever Especially hockey. Here? Like really I mean, a hockey team. But it's awesome. Yeah, it it's really awesome. is. And if they, you they haven't been, this is, I, I'm not a paid sponsor. I get <laughs> <laughs> nothing for this you know firebirds if you hear me you i know, mean college boy get some yeah i'm not afraid for some swag right or whatever you know but <laughs> i'm just saying if you haven't been to a game go to a game the tickets are not that expensive you don't have to sit you know in the best seat to have a good view you could really sit anywhere and i don't get paid to say that i just think it's awesome <laughs> not and, and, and if you're from the valley you know like represent your town i mean that's that's what i'm so excited about as a transplant from la one of the things i missed most was like being able to have a team have a you know something to represent and now i love wearing like firebird stuff when i go out of town almost like i'm like begging for someone to ask me about it and even um like for you going to a firebirds game and then once you get out you're still in your own hometown you're like 10 minutes from your house yeah you know that's the best part i mean yeah because the last you know i mean i've been i've been in the desert since 2004 and you know when i leave a king's game i got a two-hour drive ahead you know what i mean so yeah that's the by far that's the best part and again i mean for me point blank it's just the fact that there are like our own local team i have no love for the seattle kraken the moment these guys like you know go up a level from the ahl thing like the moment they become seattle kraken i'm like boo you know (laughs) but you know as long as you're a firebird a controller by a firebird i'm rooting for you but you know i don't have any love now there's they have like open skating and stuff for like kids yeah i mean it's it's all great it's It's all good things kids to try hockey here in the like absolutely town that's Absolutely. It's like Wayne Gretzky when he made, you know, kind of inspired people from LA and that kind of thing. So yeah, all good stuff. And with that, Hey man, it's good to have you back. Yeah. Well, are we going to wait six, eight weeks? What are we gonna do? You think we're gonna do this again sooner? Yeah, we'll do it. uh, Bring back our secret producer. No more Brian be gone. (laughs) (laughs) Brian be gone. But for sure. No, we'll, we'll stay consistent now. New year, new, new podcast, new year, new me, new us, new everything. (laughs) All right, man. We'll see you on the next angel and the advocate podcast. Thanks for watching.